Reducing the amount of red meat in our diets is one of the most effective ways of reducing our carbon footprint, but many of us are a bit wary of meatless alternatives for a lot of reasons. So Stephanie is here to put them to the test. And Stephanie, we're going to start by talking about the many reasons why people should be mm -hmm. trying to incorporate more plant-based recipes into their life and their world. Absolutely, Tracy. So in general, I don't think that people eat enough fruits and vegetables. We are so reliant on eating animal-based protein at each meal of the day that we are forgetting about the wide variety of nutrients we could be getting from other sources of plant-based proteins or just good old veg. So today, we're going to do a little quiz. Okay. I've prepared four really great recipes that usually would contain some sort of animal protein. Yeah. You're going to guess what the vegetable or meat substitute is. Okay. And Tracy, the reality is it's good for the environment, but it tastes delicious and it's something you can do at home. See, I like that you say that. It's not just about the environment, which is right. really important and what the show's about, but it tastes good and we need those nutrients Absolutely. and we need to mix it up when Absolutely. it comes to our vegetables. Yeah. But animal protein, I think, is easy. It's and I think easy. that's why we go there. Yes. So let's start to reprogram a bit mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see if we can get more veggies into our life. So let's Ready? start the test. Okay, here we yeah. go. Let's, what's, what's our first one? Under number one. <laughs> Ta -da! What have we got here? So it's my take yes. on a tartare. Okay. Okay. I've done it as an appetizer version yeah. on crackers. Uh huh. Instead of you know maybe in a salad. Mm hmm. What are we thinking? I don't like beef tartare, so I'm oh, glad okay. this is an alternative. Oh, okay. This is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It tastes mm. like cheese. Well, yeah, there is that he got the cheese in there, so that's correct. But what do you think the tartare is made out of? Beets. Bingo, bango. And it's delicious. You got it. Absolutely. Some marinated beets overnight. Yeah. Cubed up really small. You can throw this in a salad or as an appetizer. Way to go. I like this. Yeah. And, you know, are you trying to really replicate tartare? Are you no. starting, right? No, you're not. You, you don't want beets to taste like beef. That would just be strange. <laughs> Let's let beets shine. Yeah. It looks similar. It's a great alternative. But, yeah. you know, they are beautiful on its own. Absolutely. And so okay. good for you. What do we got next? Number I'm excited two. now. Here we that go. tastes good. Okay, what am I eating here? I okay. mean, don't tell me what I'm eating, but what what is what have you made? So a classic take on the Reuben, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm, I'm a Reuben lover, all yes. right? But this is, now what I want you to do here is I want you to tell me what you think. Okay, so five years in is. Montreal, oh, okay, so I, mean, I know how a pastrami sandwich is supposed to okay, taste. Okay, don't kill me. My little take is I put guac on it because I love the texture, but right. you, know, you know, that's like, that's the chef -y twist. This is really good. Is it sauerkraut? Is it cabbage? There is sauerkraut. Yeah, that's it's a, a, with some caraway seeds, actually. Yeah, you got it. And then the actual Tofu? meat. So it's actually tempeh, which is oh. close. It's still soy, but it's fermented soy. And what I love about that is it's much easier to digest for people who can't that's digest good. regular tofu. Oh, my God. That's yeah. so good, Chef. Marinate it overnight in some tamari, garlic, smoked paprika. Bake it. You could fry it, but I bake it under the oven. And then nice. where do we go? Oh, very good. Kind of, let's shimmy. Okay, so if a Reuben is your thing, this is a good alternative. What have All we right. got next? Here we go. So classic comfort food. One, two, three. Yes. <laughs> she made me a burger. I'm a, I made like, you a burger. I, this is the reason why I can't give up meat completely because yes. I love burgers so much. Yes. And again, we're not going for the like we want it to taste like a burger. We're letting yeah. you know the veg shine. So I want you to get in there. You're letting it be what it is, yeah, which is a absolutely. meatless burger. Absolutely. Uh huh. Go. Let's see, let's see, on um, brioche, because like I love a good brioche bun. Mm, so do I. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. What are we thinking? Is what it beans? Th yes, absolutely. That's key number one. Okay, we're There's getting more? it. There's more? Yes, beans, wild rice, sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh. And flax is what's actually going to hold it together really well. Okay. And I amped it up with chipotle mayo, oh. and you can use a vegan version, of course. And then a mango salsa. Let's change it. We all love, I, I love ketchup. I'm a purist, but sometimes, like, I just find that these fun toppings really elevate the flavor. Stephanie, that's good. Yay. Okay. I really like that one. Last one. Okay, what do you want? This got? is my favorite, mm -hmm. ultimate comfort, but comfort for spring, okay? Because we're moving into spring, so I lightened it up a little bit. Here okay. we go. And so it's a soup. What is it? Okay, so actually it's a chowder. It's a chowder. <laughs> got it's it. Chowder. Okay, so we know we're very familiar with the traditional chowders that are out there. Yeah. I did a little bit of a lighter, brighter version for spring, and of course using plants. Mmm. 
my gosh, I have no idea. Well, maybe mushrooms? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yep, so this is a classic take on a... That's good. Instead of doing a clam chowder, right? Or yeah. a corn chowder, which usually has bacon. Mm -hmm. This is all veg base with a ton of lemon and a ton of herbs just to really brighten. This doesn't feel so heavy that you would have like in the winter time. And so is, so is the main ingredient though in that mushrooms? Absolutely, mushrooms. And then I, I've thrown in some potatoes, some corn, yeah. some leeks. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, you can taste it all. And just, just quickly about mm -hmm. the preparation of a chowder mm -hmm. if you're using mushrooms, what do you have to do a bit differently? Um, I like to saute the mushrooms for a little bit longer. Let's bring out the flavor. Yeah. I did not make this one vegan. I used butter and organic whipping cream. Yum. Yeah, just, I mean, come on, let's just, let's just get cozy. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You, of course, can use coconut milk or soy milk. I would probably err on the side of soy milk because yeah. otherwise it's gonna taste like coconut. Yes. Um, and then, of course, you could just use olive oil. Okay, yeah. so here's my question for you with mm -hmm. all of these, which mm -hmm. I can tell you honestly, because you know on the show when I eat something and it's a little bit sideways, like my face <laughs> shows it. <laughs> these all taste good. Thank you. Um, but I feel the thing that holds a lot of us back from doing the vegan and the vegetarian right. recipes is that you look at the ingredient mm -hmm. list and there's 7,000 things on it. Yeah. And it's and, it, and it's in order to build that flavor. Right. The, the reality is, is you do need flavor for it to still feel satiating. And this is why yeah. a lot of people stay away from meatless options because they don't feel full or they think it's bland. So yeah, you do need to plan a little bit more. You do need to get ahead a bit more. But I do think that it's so worth it, even if it's just once a week. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And I appreciate your, like, hand with that yeah. because sometimes if you speak with vegan people they're like no it's the same right like, it's not the same it's not the animal same. protein you get the chicken you wash the chicken right. you season the chicken you eat the chicken yeah, so just let vegetables shine let them be veg right. let them be veg yeah. okay so what did i get out of four here did i get them all what did i get you did you got no you didn't you got them all you i'll give you i'll, I'll give that as a pass like the tempeh as a pass you said tofu it's I close. Said tofu. <laughs> yeah so we did it okay i love that uh i liked that quiz because i did well at it <laughs> ultimately it is all about eating the great food. So for more information on these dishes and more, head over to cityline.tv.